All right, all right. Uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give all uh, peace, and greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim, you know, that's pushing this word in our uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And all uh, Lord willing, you know, through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, Adoan uh, Rathazah, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, is, is going to be basically on how the Lord woke up his people, all right, how the Lord woke up the elect of Israel, because why? We know that all Israel, all right, is not going to. Uh, understand this understand this truth you know only the elect scripture says i'm gonna just start at, uh romans then i'm gonna just roll through the spirit lord winds edifying all right all right because what we was once sleep all right we was in a dead state scripture says he that runneth out of way of wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead man all right so our people was in a spiritually dead uh state all right but now we've been awoken by our by this word this book of Romans chapter 11 verse 7 says, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded. So majority of our people are going to be blinded, all right, until those noobs come, man. All right, they're not going to understand. All right, as it says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah asked the Lord, How long, O Lord? He said, Until the cities be wasted without inhabited, man. All right, but the elect has woken up, all right? This is the book of Hosea. This is the book of Hosea chapter 1. All right. And the great awakening, all right, started in here in America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, man. All right. This is the book of Hosea chapter 1. In verse, I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Then said the Most High Yahweh, Call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people. And I would not be your power because what the Lord took away his peace from Israel. All right. The Lord, the Lord was angry with us. All right. So what he disowned us. But now, all right, we are returning back through the Lord to the heavenly father through our Lord. Yahweh Shai. That's why the scriptures talk about the adoption. He adopted us back to the most high because the Lord was angry with us. He said he's going to take away his peace from us. As it says in the book of Jeremiah. All right. Verse 11, verse 10, so like it, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which which cannot be measured nor number, numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power, because what? Our people are as, as the sand of the sea. All right? We are the biggest nation, all right, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And the scripture said, in the place it was said unto them, ye are not my people here in America. All right. Because what they call us Negroes, they call us what Seminole Indians, they call us Native Americans. All right. They said, you can, y'all, y'all cannot be the people of the most high. Well, in the same place that they told us we, we wasn't. All right. It's the same place that we're going to learn that we are the sons of the living power. power. We are Yasharala. Yasharala in the Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash. Yah meaning he, Shar. Prince Allah power. We're the princes of the of the most high. Alright. And what we didn't know that. Because what? Ship said there was gonna be a falling away first. Then that man of sin be revealed. Esau, even a so-called white man, has went around the earth lying, changing history. Alright. But the Lord, he woke us up. Alright. Lord willing, we are party elect. So it said unto them, Ye are not my people. There shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. All right? We're not Negroes. We're, we're actually what? From the tribe of Judah. All right? We're not, we're not so-called Haitians. We're actually from the tribe of Levi. We're not so-called We're not so -called Puerto Ricans. We're actually from the tribe of Ephraim and so on and so forth. Not You're not a so-called Mexican. You're from the tribe of Issachar. All right? Verse 11 says, Then... Shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together? 
all right, out of this place, all right? The great deliverance is going to be in here in Babylon and Great, but the, but what, it's going to be a deliverance throughout the four corners of the earth, but the great deliverance and the great destruction is going to be in America. It says, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land here in America, for great shall be the day of Jezreel, all right? So what? This is this is place that the Lord is going to wake us up, all right, and bring us back into our land, all right. And we prophesy against this place, the destruction, and it's going to happen soon. We just waiting for that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, to be made mandatory. This book of John, chapter six. Bear with me. It's the book of John, chapter six, in verse. 63 it says it is the spirit that quickeneth which which mean make make you alive all right if you without this word you're dead spiritually all right it says it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life all right so these words a hey, we became alive again the scriptures talk about the valley which the apostles and elders was going into that on a sit down lesson yesterday all right america is that dry that low land all right we're those dry bones but what the word entereth us this water this word and what we became alive the breath all right the elect of course not 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 all israel this book of baruch i believe it's baruch chapter two This book of Baruch chapter 2 in verse 28 it says as thou speakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel saying because why the Lord gave the laws to Moses and the Lord said if you hearken these blessings are gonna come upon you if you hearken to his word these blessings are gonna come upon you but if you don't hearken all these curses are gonna come up, come upon you one of the curses what we're gonna be we're gonna uh, serve our enemies in the land which we know it not. We're gonna have, we're gonna go into captivity. We're gonna serve their gods. All right. Basically, we're gonna be at, basically we're gonna be at the bottom. Verse twenty nine says, "If ye would not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, whether I will scatter them." So we were scattered amongst the nations, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Verse 30 says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff, it's like it says, because it is stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. What? So in the land of our captivities, all right, we're going to remember ourselves, man. Remember who we are, who we are. All right. And that's the Lord waking us up. Verse 31 And shall know that I am the Lord their power, so we know we got a true God. All right, we was worshiping idols. All right, but the Lord revealed his name unto us. His name and his son's name. All right, because you can't go through the Father without the Son. It says, and shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them their heart and their ears to hear. And that's only for the elect. Because you can tell the average person, but it got to be mixed with faith, as it says in the book of Hebrew. They heard the word as, just as we heard it, but not mixed with faith then and profit them that heard it so the lord gave us spiritually ears to hear all right verse 31 and they shall praise like and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name so we are in captivity proving that we are the people of the most high those people in the in the land they're not the true people because some would say all right if y'all the israelites who are those people over there they're imposters all right, they're not in captivity. They're actually, running, they rule the world. Started with the bankers, the international bankers, man. And they don't call upon the name of the Lord. They say Hashem. We know the true name. The Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Verse 33 In return from their stick, it's like it's in return from their stiff neck. All right, and from their wicked deeds, our people are repenting. All right. The elect is repentant. It says, For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before me, which which um which sinned before the Lord. Verse 34 it says, And I will bring them again into the land 
which I promise with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So this is talking about a, 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 a certain people. It's not the whole world. All right. It's not the whole world. If you want to say, if you want to say the, the world, you got to know the definition of world. Cosmos. All right. Trip say for, for the most high soul of the world that he gave his only God a son. All right. That world is talking about the world of Israel. The Lord is not dealing everybody. He just said he's going to, he's going to, he remembered the oath that he made to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, and they shall, and they shall be lords of it because while the promise was given unto our people to, to have that land and I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. So the Lord is going to give us everything. All right. We're going to be ruling the earth in righteousness, man. Because what the Lord is going to put his law, says commandments, our inward part. We trip said we shall not teach everyone his neighbor know the Lord. Because we shall all know him from the least to the greatest. So what that means, the other nations, they're going to have to come up to Jerusalem, all right, and keep the laws. Because we're going to already be perfect. Verse 35 says, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people Israel, my people of Israel, out of the land that I have given them. And that's what I'm waiting for. And that didn't happen yet. That didn't happen yet. This happened. It's, it's going to happen now because we're waking up. And we remember, I said the latter part of this, uh, um, uh, the blessing is what we're going to go back into our land. Land. We we waking up right now. The Lord's not going to wake us up and, and leave us here. All right. He's waking to gather the elect. And what we when that destruction comes, we're going to be beating up in a chariot, man. So called UFO. <laughs> You know, so the Wadi Habashima Shah for waking us up, man. The Lord will make it continue fighting and enduring to the end that we may be saved, man. You know, so Lord, when this lesson was edifying, man, it was just on my spirit, you know. The Wadi Habashima Shah, we waking up. All right, the elect is waking up. All right, so Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chakodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give all peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mike, keep pushing. Hey, keep doing Shalom.